The historic Amazon union vote count begins today. That means that the voting on whether or not to join the union has already ended. And so now the tallying process will begin. And this is a really big deal, guys, because there are about 8,000 warehouse workers in Bessemer, Alabama. This is the largest unionizing effort for Amazon workers. The last time that we heard about workers in Amazon trying to unionize was in 2014, and it was just a small group of maintenance and engineer workers who were trying to do it and they unfortunately voted against it. In this case, it would pack a punch and it certainly did get a lot of national attention. Now on Tuesday, the federal labor authorities will begin tallying the votes, a process that could take a few days. Regardless of the outcome, Amazon or the union are expected to pursue legal challenges. Now, as that happens, it will take place internally and that's when there might be some disputes about whether or not certain ballots should count. But that will not be open to the public. Following that part of the tallying, there will be the ability to live stream. They're gonna live stream this and the public can actually watch as they tally the votes anonymously to see whether or not they were able to get enough votes to get a union for these workers in Bessemer. The retail, wholesale and department store union, which is looking to represent Amazon workers in Bessemer has called this union push, quote, the most important labor struggle in more than half a century, the process was kicked off in November when about half of the workers at the Bessemer warehouse had signed cards to petition for the election. And one of the things that certainly did help to galvanize the workers there was the national attention that it received from people like I'm gonna keep it real, Joe Biden, who put out a video supporting this effort. And just this past weekend, Senator Bernie Sanders also traveled to Bessemer to you know, help support the efforts there. Let's take a quick look at that video and then I'll get your thoughts, Cenk. The reason that Amazon is putting so much energy to try to defeat you is they know that if you succeed here, it will spread all over this country. And I just had a few minutes to chat with some of you about the heat. It's, it's too hot. It's too hot. I get messages on my computer saying, do not touch the fan, do not turn right. the fan on. We do have hair. They're just not using it. The fact that when you get a 30 minute break, it takes you 10 minutes to get to the brake station and 10 minutes back. They explained to me that working in this facility is like a 10 hour workout. The way that we work is meant to mentally break you down. A man who's worth $150 billion, who will not provide air conditioning, who penalizes people for being a minute late. If you're one minute late, it yeah. takes a whole hour of unpaid time. Is that right? You lose your whole hour if you're five minutes late or one minute late? All the Amazons around the world going through the same thing. Think about a woman having a heart attack and falling out behind you because she's so hot and tired. There's this older woman who was sticks next to me one night, woman, and passed out. She passed out. She had a heart attack. It's time for us to start taking a stand and stand together and fight. So they're standing together and fighting. Unfortunately, we won't know today whether or not they're going to join this union, whether or not they have enough votes. But we should find out in the next few days, and we'll share those updates with you as we learn them. Okay, first I want to give credit to some people. That was Killer Mike you saw there. He's a rapper. What's he doing there? He he's doing he he goes there because he cares. That guy's awesome. But it's my job to correct him on the facts because we do news. Uh, Bezos isn't worth $150 billion. He's worth $180 billion. And that's after the divorce. Okay, so uh, you don't have time to give your workers more than a fat five minute bathroom break. They say it takes about five minutes to get to the bathroom in that giant warehouse. I mean, they're timing your bathroom breaks, man. Okay, so Bernie's been fighting on this world of credit. Um, he pushed Amazon to get to $15 minimum wage in the first place. Now they're bragging about it like he didn't do it. He's down there fighting. I'll give Biden credit too because uh, that's definitely not going to make the Chamber of Commerce happy. And usually uh, corporate Democrats never ever want to uh, displease the Chamber of Commerce. I know the unions give a ton of money to Democrats as well. So that's obviously part of his equation, but credit where credit is due, I don't care. Uh, you know where he got the money for it. I did, just good, good. Okay, now I have again. I got to be honest with you guys. 
This is the first time they're trying to unionize anything related with Amazon since 2014. And before that, it was 2000. I don't know what Amazon situation was in 2000. I don't know how small or big or midsize they were, right? And so that one failed because there was the dot com bus, etc. So no, it is what it is. That's okay. But no one tried to unionize Amazon between 2000 and 2014 and between 2014 and 2020. Nobody tried that. Do you know that unions go and sometimes try to unionize progressive campaigns? They don't usually do it to corporate Democrats to load up more costs onto progressive candidates. But they don't have time to unionize Amazon in 20 years. That's unbelievable to me, unbelievable. So I'm glad that they finally figured out, Oh yeah, that's the largest company in the world. And the owner has $180 billion and is squeezing workers to no end. And maybe we should fight a giant corporation. Congratulations for figuring it out. I hope they win. I hope those folks get real rights. And that's where a union is awesome if you do it right. Because those folks need help down there. And Bernie's right, if they win down there, that could happen all across the country. It's not just that it would embolden the workers, it might actually embolden unions to take on giant corporations instead of tiny ones. Well, the thing with Amazon is, and and look, I don't know about every effort to unionize at Amazon. I know that the last effort was in 2014. Um, But to be clear, Amazon is vicious in uh, the tactics it uses to uh, prevent its workers from unionizing, intimidation. Um, One of the more uh, recent tactics that we learned about was that they were hiring off duty cops in Bessemer, Alabama uh, to intimidate their workers there. There was a video um, detailing it. Uh, They also had Changed the uh, the stoplights at intersections so the red light would be much shorter. That way, uh, the organizers would have less time to be able to actually talk to the workers. Um, they're not able to organize um, on the Amazon factory property, right? So they have to do it outside. Um, and so they were doing this at, at intersections when people were stopped at red lights, and Amazon found a way to um, you know uh, stop that from happening. So they're they're pretty vicious and and. It, you know, Alabama is a right to work state. Um, one of the things that they're doing is they're forcing all of their factory workers to attend these mandatory anti union meetings where they're, um, you know, propagandized about all of the uh, alleged harm that could happen as a result of the union representing them. Um, so there, I'm sure there have been more efforts than we know about. Uh, but Amazon has sure. been able to uh, Amazon has been able to basically squash those efforts uh, through these types of tactics. It just it, hasn't look, really I, worked out for them in, in Bessemer. I, I'm going to say one more cynical thing. So you know, everybody keeps saying if we can ha- happen in a deep red state, right to work state like and that's a misnomer, uh, it's it's basically anti labor statutes like they have in in Alabama, it could happen anywhere. So why isn't it happening everywhere? Why isn't there a union drive in every Amazon warehouse? I I just don't get it, I literally don't get it. I don't know what the unions are doing. There's these giant, giant corporations that are abusing their workers to no end. And every decade or so we get, hey, go golly gee, let's hope it works in Alabama. Even if it doesn't work in Alabama, you should do it in other places because they're not allowed to go to the bathroom <laughs> in Ohio either or in all the other states. Well, they're, so, they're, by the way, look, this is why it's so important, Jenk, because this did galvanize warehouse workers and Amazon workers across the country. And that's exactly what Amazon wanted to prevent from happening. And so now this retail union, retail workers union is being contacted by Amazon workers across the country. We're talking about Iowa, Southern California. I don't have the list in front of me right now, but there are all sorts of red states included there as well. So the national attention to this has been important. Important, and I'm glad that there are, um, you know, pretty high-profile members of Congress and the president. I mean, that's not a small thing. Biden speaking out in favor of this. It, it did help to galvanize it, and more importantly, it helped not to just galvanize the Bessemer, Alabama warehouse workers, but workers across the country. So hopefully, um, you know, this trend continues, and you know, they can't keep the genie in the bottle. Like that's what Amazon's been trying to do, and they they're failing. Luckily, yeah. Man, by the way, the other thing about labor is if they can't get the PRO Act, why did you pay all those Democrats all that money if you're 
if they're never gonna deliver anything for you. And you can't get the $15 minimum wage. What are you guys up to? Well, what's the other option? What's the other option? The, you, the option is to kick the Democrats asses, the corporate Democrats who they're best friends with and actually hold them accountable and say, hey, if you don't pass the PRO Act or $15 minimum wage, we're never gonna give you another dollar. Okay, that's hardball. Instead, they go attack random people for no reason because they feel like, oh, we could win that fight. No, you should win the big fights so you can get the actual labor in this country and the union effort to be big, bold, and strong. So let's see if you got any fight in you. If they don't pass the PRO Act or $15 minimum wage, <laughs> almost every union leader in the country should be fired. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.